let's understand what are the types of infrastructure an infrastructure is basically classified into two categories one is the economic infrastructure and second is called the social infrastructure now economic infrastructure as the name suggests is more related to the economic activities which take place in a country now let's say you know you have something related to energy and what all is included in energy is what we are going to discuss a little later but energy is basically required in all forms of industry and it is imperative for the economic growth of the country because all the industries run on machines if you do not have energy the machines will not run although i'm not saying that energy is not required as a social means also why because you need power at your house as well if the power or the energy is not there at your house obviously things are going to be worse off for you so socially also it is required but predominantly this is more relating to the economic activities second is transportation transportation fall within the economic infrastructure for the reason that it facilitates movement of goods plus services now let's say take any country for that matter there are normally two parts in every country one is the developed and the other one is the developing okay the developed part would normally have most of the things wherever the industrial revolution is going on it's the developing part which requires movement of goods and services in addition to this it is also required as a part of economic activity because just like i explained to you if you have agricultural produce in one area you need to transport it to the industrial area else it will perish okay and third is communication let's say for the services industry today indian economy is to a large extent earning foreign exchange forex resources from bpo and kpo industry if the communication was not there the great part of the economic activity which is there which is providing employment generation to a large number of people would not have been there so therefore communication is also a part of the economic infrastructure now let's take the second one equally important social infrastructure the first one is education i mean for the social upliftment of the society there is no second thought that there has to be a high quality of education which should be available then is health if the health facilities are not available in a country there will be social anarchy people will be dying they will not be getting the proper medication and third is housing providing affordable housing to the people is the biggest concern for any government i mean they may or may not succeed because of the price rise which has happened globally over the last couple of years housing has actually become a dream for many of the people but this is still construed as a part of the social infrastructure because this has lot to do with the social upliftment of the society please note that all these are interlinked i mean if people are not educated how can you expect them to work in the industry if the health is not good obviously the production and everything in the industry goes down and correspondingly the economic activities similarly if there are no houses available to the people to live in 
they would not prefer to work at a place where they don't have a house. So while these are linked, but for the purpose of categorization, the infrastructure is divided into two categories, economic and social.